What is everybody? Welcome back to this week. I'm your host for today, Roger McCorney, also known as at Roger Foreman on the internet. And this week, I watched season one of Young Justice. And by season one, I mean about halfway through season one. Young Justice. Uh, this is a show that I never thought I would really get into because it, it was canceled. People are trying to bring it back and renew it. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I didn't want to get into a show that's going to be canceled and just fill my heart with just, uh, I want more. I just want more. Just like Hannibal. I had a list of TV shows that I wanted to get into, and Young Justice seemed like the easiest one to just pop on, because it's a cartoon. You can just pop it on and not really think about it. Just, you know, watch it and have fun. Oh boy, was I wrong. It is so filled with story, and not just throwaway story, right? Like, I feel like a lot of cartoons, especially Justice League and everything, I'm not putting down Justice League or Batman Beyond or anything like that. Those are shows that are kind of disposable in a way, right? You can watch an episode, and you can be like, I'm done. Then you can just throw it away, and you can go to another episode in another season, in another series. You can go to Unlimited, to regular. doesn't matter. Unless you're watching a part one and part two episode, it doesn't matter. Whatever, young Justice is a serial at heart, and that is the amazing allure to this. It is such a gripping story, and even a relatable one. So, the story takes place, it's the formation of a Young Justice League, basically. The growth of a team, Aqualad, Robin, Artemis, Superboy, Martian, Manhunter's niece, Kid Flash as well. Oh my gosh, how did I forget Kid Flash? He's the best. The show is so amazing because it doesn't focus on a villain of the week. It is focused on the character. Sure, there is sometimes a new villain of the week. Week. Most of the time, even if it, there is a new villain of the week, there's a twist to it. The show likes to do this great thing where it focuses in on a specific character, a specific group of characters, maybe two or three characters in the dynamic, or maybe the entire team. And every episode, it's this new twist on that formula. One episode, for example, two characters go into a prison and they pretend to be villains, and it's about their dynamic. Another episode, it's about how the team works together in a new environment and with a new dynamic and a new person. Shows like Arrow, for example, right? If they had Clayface, for example, they would make the entire focus about Clayface. They do this all the time with Damien Dark and Ra's al Ghul. They don't really focus on the main dynamic about characters, and when they do, it feels like a side thing. Like, they just added there just to get a few people happy. In Young Justice, it feels like the bad guys are almost a bit of like, okay, let's get them to have some conflict, but let's really focus on these characters and make them something interesting. For example, Aqualad. He's the odd man out of this bunch, right? I care about a Green Arrow, right? So I care about Artemis. I care about Flash. I care about Kid Flash. But Aquaman, who cares about Aquaman? I know I'm gonna get people angry. Not many people care about Aquaman, but Aqua Lad really has an episode that is focused around him, his entire world, and it's just completely focused, and I care about him now. I cared about him after that episode. I cared about his dynamic. I cared about, you know, his past, the people that he liked, his, you know, supposed girlfriend. Like, I, these are storylines that I really took to, and all it took was an entire episode based on that character, and they do this thing where they really just kind of focus in on the characters that you know, and they know that that people might not really easily take to. It's also a very relatable show. I would recommend this show to anyone that is around my age, right? An age of a teenager is trying to figure out their life, come into a new, a young adult, right? And, you know, instead of young adult novels being very cheesy or sad and make you want to cry your eyes out, this is a very comedic, also drama-filled show, but it's also about finding yourself, right? This is a show about a bunch of people that are trying to fight crime, but they were known for being the little kid next to a bigger hero. They were always looking up at someone, up at someone's shadow for their entire life, or lack of life in Superboy's case. They have a really nice mixture every episode with action and true character development, some romance and some, you know, flirtation going on and some young adult themes. It just deals with some really great deep things that I think are very important and way above the level that you would ever think a uh, animated show that was on Cartoon Network would ever be, but it hits those notes. Young Justice is a fantastic show so far, and it has this amazing subplot with a traitor, and I'm very excited to see how that plays off. I love this show so much. I implore every single person that loves DC or just likes DC in general as a passing by thing to go watch it because it's fantastic, and I can't wait to finish it uh, so that I'm going to be sad that there's no season three. So, have you guys been watching Young Justice? Please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, tweet at me at RogerFormer, RogerFormer.com, all that jazz. Bye-bye.